What's going on guys? Today we have a little install going in. Now I mentioned this in the last video that we have a couple really cool installs going in to my car. Also, Bri is back in the videos and he's, he's back. I'm back. So, we are going to be showing you guys today how to install a harness bar. Now this is a universal harness bar um, that does fit in my car. This is made by Brom and we are going to be installing today. We have done this before. We installed an NRG one on Adam's STI over a year ago by now. So, we are finally going to be installing this. I've needed this for the last year and a half. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So obviously right here we have the main portion of the harness bar. This is what's going to be sitting right behind your seat. Straps go through right here on these little notches and a grasp in right here. Now a lot of you guys actually asked us a long time ago if what method we were going to be doing uh, for this, whether the wraparound method, and I forget the other one that you guys are talking about, but we are doing the wraparound method. That is the best one that you can do with this. Uh, moving on to the second part, these two pipes right here connect right on these little notches down here. And what this does, it supports um, this being lifted up, staying lifted up, and the bottom portion connects to the bottom of the car right on, right along basically where the, uh, the seat rail is. Right here we have the little um, swing arms. Now this is what makes it universal pretty much. They slide in on the side and you can swivel it back and forth depending on what car you have. Right here we have the hardware kit. Obviously it's just hardware. This is what you use to bolt it in. Do not reuse the bolts that your car already has in any of these spots that you'll be bolting it in. Use the hardware that the company has given you uh, that will fit a lot better. Uh, and then obviously right here we have a little sticker and this will be going on the back of the harness bar to, uh, to give a little love to Brum. So let's get into it. So first I'm going to start by taking out the rear seats. Right now I had the straps just going to the back and they kind of tucked behind here. This is going to be really nice because before no one could sit in this rear seat and it just made things 10 times difficult. Although this car has a really small back seat so no one ever sits back here anyways. But for putting stuff back here I mean I guess it's going to help. And now as you can see here, the rear seat has been removed so that we can access those bolts. There's one over here, and this one actually connects to the stock harness for the rear passenger seat, and then the other one is just the same thing, but it's on the opposite side. So we're gonna take those off. We will actually have to do a little bit of cutting later where we cut these and wrap them around the harness bar. So what we'll have to do first is take off these little caps and I've heard from a lot of other people and look this up online. You'll actually have to push this thing all the way down to the bottom setting if she'll even go down because I've never moved this before. Oh wait, there we go. So bottom setting. And then we'll have to take the cap off, which I'm probably going to grab a flat edge for. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's take it off. Alright, she's off. So that's what we're going to be working with right here. We're going to be attaching basically the little uh, swivel clamp over here. Right to the side, this is one of the pillars. And then it'll wrap around and do the same on the other side. Wow, that is a bright light. Oh yeah, if you guys love this lighting, we got a whole new light setup. Show them, show them what's going on. Oh, show them what's going on. Nice. Wow, you like that? That is yes. nice. Yeah, and that's the low setting. Woo. That's the low setting. Woo, that's nice. Yeah. So I took this thingy off. Um, obviously this is at the lowest setting because that's what they say is the safest way and um, for the universal one that is the best fit. Right now I'm actually looking for which bolt they gave us that, oh wait maybe that's it. We will be using the stock ones so scratch what I said earlier about the uh, bolts that they gave you. Obviously if they fit your car use them but apparently since this is universal it is not going to fit all cars. So we will go ahead reuse these which is not a big deal and then so it'll it'll go through attached to this and then you can um, you can send this through and then put the lock nut back on the other side. What we're finding what we're going to have to do here is since we're using these stock bolts with everything kind of piled up, it's not long enough, you only be using like two threads and that's not what you want to do, that's not going to keep you safe. So we're kind of deleting this whole adjustable contraption because it's got to stay at the bottom setting anyways. So we're saving ourselves a bunch of room here by taking it down just to this metal, this kind of bronzy copper metal here. We're taking it down just to that so we have pretty much the most amount of room possible. It'll just be like, this 
that one piece of metal and then to there. So it'll be really, I guess, limited down to like the, the bare minimum of what you need. All right, so we've had to do a couple modifications for the last, I don't know, half hour now. We haven't really been doing much uh, besides trying to figure out the setup. So the way that we set it up, starting from the right side over here, we have the bolt and then we have the adjustable swing arm and then we have the stock belt and that is just in case I ever want to go back to stock belt if I were to sell the car or something like that and then we have a spacer and a washer and a washer oh yeah and a washer There's on the other side um, so it leaves us a good amount of thread um, and then obviously this has Loctite on already uh, this is the best way to set it up for this car specifically because we Basically we did this without the spacer before and it wouldn't line up perfectly It was angled and then it would have been all messed up and it probably would have sent the bolt in sideways, which is not good So we're gonna have to run it like this and it doesn't look horrible But we're gonna set it up and see how she runs. We already have that side up over there So and this actually like yes still is able to be adjusted so we can still set that up we left this the, the stock harness at an angle so that the passenger can still pull the, the stock seat belt without having it kind of be pulled too far back on them. So. so once again, we've still spent the last 30 minutes trying to figure this out. This is so stupid that it takes this long to, to get this done. So what we did, and uh, we took a second to play it smart. We went on to Brahms website to check out their diagram of it. It's very weird that it didn't come with instructions. I know that sounds stupid because it's literally just a couple bolts, but we only needed the instructions to see which bolts go where. Um, other than that, we are looking good. We have just figured it out. We saw a picture of one fully assembled, so we now have a better idea of how it's gonna work. So we are now going to move on and hopefully get this done because this is taking longer than it's supposed to. I just want to get this done. I just want to see what it looks like when it is done because Whoa. that'll be sick. <laughs> All right, so we got the bar in right now. We have it like half assembled, which is hopefully going to make it a little bit easier to install. So we have it half assembled. We're going to kind of line it up, uh, keep all the bolts and stuff loose. Uh, but for now, this looks, it's starting to look pretty cool and it's not even uh, actually installed. So as you can see from back here, just kind of imagine it like this. Obviously we'll do a little bit of a walk around when it's done, maybe a little feature film, something like that to uh, really show it off. But I just love the white and it kind of matches the white up front. Um, so basically this, uh, this interior is going to turn into a white and blue theme. So. How do you like it? It looks sick. It'll though. be sick. I think definitely um, if you do redo your your white up there to make it kind of more pop. Oh with yeah, this white, it'll be glossy. Like it'll this. be nice. Um, I just I'm really excited to get this done. Yeah. I want to see how that looks. So yeah. let's let's keep doing and it. And it'll be functional. Let's do it. Excuse all the noises, but we finally have it somewhat done. This side is uh, pretty much complete. I'm gonna go. This side is pretty much complete. I'm gonna go back and retighten everything once it's done. Basically, every single bolt that we've been doing on this car has been just hell. Like it's been so bad trying to fix this, and every just ugh, it's just disgusting. So. We are finally getting some traction on where we need to go. It is very loud in here right now. We got the compressor going, we got music going, we got our heater going. It is loud, we are getting real work done here today. So I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are not enjoying installing this. But once it's done, it'll be all cool and it'll be way worth it, so. Go for it, bud. This is gonna bother me so much if this is, I'm kinda just basing it off of what looks like it's gonna be straight. Oh, don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Oh, oh. oh you messed up. Oh. Did you get it? There's one. There you go. Oh, there you go. That's, that's, that looks that's pretty good. Pretty man. Straight for hell. That's pretty straight. For just not measuring at all. Very Keep going. Level. You got it. You got it. I mean, only you got no it. one's going to see this. So Everyone that sits in the back is, and someone's going to peel at it. Yeah. Someone's going to pick it. I'm going to be pissed. That looks sick. Now you just need some Brom seats. Yeah. Brom, sponsor us. Yeah. So double check all your bolts, make sure everything is tight. Install your sticker. Well, I don't know, are we gonna do the wrap around in this video? 
Yeah. Well, here she is so far. We're not done. We have this installed, but uh, basically the only thing we have left is to put on the harness. We have to put them right through here, and then she'll be all good. This is actually really, really stiff. Looks really sick. If you can even, like, when we close the door and stuff, like, I mean, you walk up, you see that. It kind of just looks really cool, and I like the white on blue, so... No more, uh, no more relaxing in the seats, but uh, that's that's really not the point here. So, looks sick. All right, we got one done. This looks super sick. Now, a lot of you guys were asking us like almost a year ago about the wraparound method. We just kind of studied up on it, got some knowledge about it, and it, they say that that's actually the best way to do it. The other way was uh, with basically clips or bolts, um, which is how I had it before. But this way, just looks cool. That just looks cool and it's fully functional, it's pretty adjustable and just looks sick so I really like the way that turned out. show much about that wraparound method. I could explain it real quick if you want though. When we get the second Seconds. harnesses, uh, remind us we'll do it. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, but yeah, they, we did that. Looks really nice. Wrapped up the extra length and zip tied it off so it's nice and clean. You showed that, correct? Yep. And uh, overall, after we figured out what goes where, pretty easy install. You, we did have to cut some of the carpet, but definitely is gonna add some rigidity to the car. Mm. And, uh, and some style the harnesses. points. Some yeah, style and some points. style points. Uh, but yeah, and harnesses fit, I guess, better. Yes. yes. Back seats are more usable. Yes. yes. It's a win. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Our next video, or coming up soon, will actually be really cool. We have another big install to do. So, yes, yes, yes we, we do. do. Yes, we do. Yes. And then we need to explain what's going on with your car, too. So. We'll never explain what's going on okay. with my car because right. I don't know what's going on with it. As always, check out social media below. Go subscribe to Shalom! That guy. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Stay wicked. We'll see you.